We have been farming here since 1960 when my father and mother and I came. I have my son working with me for four generations in total. The farm has evolved away from the early days of a mixed farm and we're now specialised uh, arable farming for seed production. From my experience of, of meeting the catchment sensitive farming advisor, it, it was dead easy. Before our 2022 application of rainwater harvesting, it was actually Rob that came to me first. He introduced himself new to the area and I was able to show him the rainwater harvesting stage one we did the year before and how it was successful, how we were collecting water and we're already using it in the sprayer. I was able to show him the site of where I wanted to put this year's 120 cube. There's great big documents and there's a lot to read through, but when it came down to it, I only needed three items. So once I established I just needed a filter, some pipework and tanks, um, it was just working out the quantity of those. The rainwater harvesting is, is going to help save water. We're, we're going to decrease our main water costs, but it's also going to help the crops. The small things like rainwater instead of treated mains water, uh, we're hoping we'll have a better biological effect on the growing of the crops. Catchment centres to farming are dead easy to contact, don't hesitate. The way the farming world is changing, we need to make note of the uh, options that are available through catchment centre farming to look after the environment. CSF, initially it's just another three letter acronym and yeah, they're always keen to know who you are, where you're from, what, what they can do to help and what ideas they can give, not only how to spend money and where you can find grants to help with that spending as well. So yeah, it's been really easy.